We want to take you to Northfield, Minnesota, where President Biden is speaking about the economy. Let's listen in. Well, folks, please take a seat if you have one. I said that some time ago, take a seat, and there weren't any seats in the room. And I said, see that Biden, he didn't even know there's no seats. At any rate, before, uh, before I start today, I'd like to say a few words about the latest developments in the Gaza Strip uh, in Israel. Today, uh, thanks to concerted American leadership, we're in a situation where safe passage for wounded Palestinians and foreign nationals to exit Gaza has started. The American citizens are able to exit today as part of the first group of probably over a thousand. We'll see more of this process going on in the coming days. We're working nonstop to get Americans out of Gaza as soon and as safely as possible. This is the result of intense and urgent American diplomacy with our partners in the region. I personally spent a lot of time speaking with the Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel and the President Sisi of Egypt and others to make sure that we could open this access for people to get out. I want to thank our partners in the region, and particularly Qatar, who have worked so closely with us to support negotiations to, to facilitate the departure of these citizens. At the same time, we're continuing working to significantly step up the flow of critical humanitarian assistance into Gaza. The number of trucks entering Gaza continues to increase significantly, but we still have a long way to go. The United States is going to continue to drive humanitarian support for innocent people in Gaza who need help, and they do need help. We're going to continue to affirm that Israel has the right to resp and responsibility to defend its citizens from terror, and it needs to do so in a manner that is consistent with international and humanitarian law that prioritizes the protection of citizens. We've all seen the devastating images from Gaza. Palestinian children crying out for lost parents, parents reasoning and writing their children's names on their hands and legs to be identified if the worst happens. It's okay. Kids are allowed to do that with me. Okay? Don't worry about it, all right? I don't blame her. Is it him or her? I don't blame her. <laughs> Look, the loss of every, every innocent life is a tragedy. We grieve for those deaths and continue to grieve for the Israeli children and mothers who are brutally slaughtered by Hamas terrorists, and also continue to hold in our hearts the, the hundreds of families and loved ones, including small children and elderly grandparents, including American citizens being held hostage. My administration continues to work around the clock to reunite those families. We're not going to give up, period. We're not going to give up. And uh, I am optimistic, but then I am an optimist. 